So you're thinking about making a move to Carmel Valley here in San Diego. Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over everything you should know if you're actually thinking about calling Carmel Valley home. And we're gonna do a couple different things, but we'll start out, we'll jump on the Google Maps, I'll show you around to some of the sights and sounds, some of the things to do, and just some of the stuff you're overall just gonna want to know if you live here in Carmel Valley, like some of the restaurants, where are the schools located, and how far are we from downtown and the airport? Just things like that to give you a better feel for it. And then after that, I'll show you some of the census data just to show you some of the stats. And then after that, I'll show you some of the real estate just to give you an idea of what the market looks like here and what you can expect as far as prices. So let's go ahead and get after it now. Welcome back. If this is your first time here and you like to know more about San Diego real estate or life here in San Diego, make sure you tap that subscribe button below. My name is Nick and you guys reach out all the time and I absolutely love helping you guys out. So if you're thinking about making a move here in a week, a month, a year, make sure you shoot us a text, shoot us an email, or just straight up give us a call so we can help you save a lot of time and just help you make a smooth move here to, I guess, Carmel Valley if you're watching this video. So as I mentioned, we're going to talk all about Carmel Valley and I just want to give you guys a better expectation and a better feel of what this city is all about because it's in such a great location, which we'll go over in a second. And the population, you know, is only about 30,000 here. So it's a smaller town. And the best part is it has a ton of shopping amenities and you're never too far to a grocery store or any type of shopping or restaurant. You're only going to be about five maybe seven minutes away from a big shopping center. So a lot of things to love, but let's go ahead and jump into my computer so I can show you around. All right, so welcome to my MacBook. As you can see, I have Google Maps pulled up for you guys right here. And everything within that red dotted line is going to be considered Carmel Valley. Now, before I unpack that for you guys, I wanna show you just where it's located because it's, it's very conveniently located. It's smack dab. You can see right here, it's smack dab in the middle of San Diego County. So this is great for a lot of different reasons. I mean, you have Del Mar, which is right next to you. The beach is right there. Solana Beach, Encinitas. Those are all within a 15 minute drive. And then let's say you had to head down south to the airport or downtown San Diego. It's only gonna be about 25, 30 minute drive depending on traffic to the airport. So if you have to commute to downtown or have to take a flight a couple times a month, Carmel Valley is going to be a great option for you because you're out of the hustle and bustle, but you're really close to everything else, which is really, really nice. La Jolla is right here, and you're only five minutes from the ocean, so you're gonna have that great, great climate. Now, let's dive into Carmel Valley. Let me unpack this. There's not too much to unpack because it's a lot of residential, and we'll get into the real estate towards the end of this, so stick around. But most of this is going to be residential, and you're going to have some commercial areas with some great shopping amenities, which is my favorite. And all these other towns that I mentioned, like Del Mar, Solana Beach, they all have their own vibe as well with their own different restaurants and shopping. So they're all close by. So if you get over Carmel Valley for the day and you want to go somewhere else, guess what? You'll have plenty of options. So we'll kind of start over in the north here. And if you haven't seen my vlog on Carmel Valley, make sure you check it out. It'll be super helpful. We look at some real estate. I show you some of the shopping and just give you an up close and personal feel. Now, I start out when I do my vlog over here, Overlook Park which is beautiful scenery. I mean, it's a little trail and you have a ton of residential around it up here. You can kind of see right here that there is, there's elementary school, there's a lot of parks, a lot of little parks in between some of these communities. You have neighborhood parks, a lot of areas to walk your dog or just get outside. And that's probably one of my favorite parts about Carmel Valley is there's always people out and about, whether they're walking on trails, they're walking their dog, or they're just on these pathways or or going to go shop or whatever. So it's cool, it's not a, a not a lonely place. There's always people walking around, whether it be families or, or people that are retired. So first area I wanna show you right here is going to be one Paseo, is going to be a newer shopping center, and my office is actually right there. So if you're ever here, pretty friendly guy, so make sure you stop by and let me know. Um, I'm usually here a couple times a week, but one Paseo is going to be a big shopping center right here. You're gonna have some great food like Nick's Del Mar, North Italia, Salt and Straw, is some great 
ice cream. And you also have some quicker food like kava, things like that. And then right across the street, you have the Del Mar Highlands, which is right here, which is even a bigger shopping center. It's been around for a while. You're going to have a Sinopolis, which is like a luxury movie theater. You have Sidecar Donuts, which is a great donut here in San Diego. I love my pastries and they have a good one. And then you have a lot of retail as well. And you have a Jimbo's, which is like a Whole Foods. And then right above Jimbo's, which is gonna be right here, you're gonna have Skydeck. Make sure you check this place out because it's newer. It took them a while to build and I can actually see it right now, but they have a ton of different foods in there and you know some beers and a great bar in the middle too. So great place to go and have dinner or take friends. But for the most part, you can see a lot of residential. You have Carmel Valley Middle School right here. You're going to have Solana Highlands Elementary, Torrey Pines High School. We'll talk more about schools in a second, but you can see just how close everything is to each other, which is great for accessibility and you know not having to leave Carmel Valley too often. But you can see when I zoom out here, Carmel Valley does go below the 56 right here, and it gets a little bit more quiet over here down in this little region. There is a little shopping center right here that has a Vons, but that's gonna be most of your shopping. Everything else is gonna be up, up above, up here, and you're gonna have a ton of trails down here, which is really cool too. You have trails throughout here. You have the Fairmont Grand Del Mar which is a Michelin, they have a Michelin star. I think they have two Michelin stars uh, restaurant there. So great food, very high end luxury hotel, but you can see all these green little trails down here, more parks. So great outdoor atmosphere and a lot of townhomes and a lot of single family homes. We'll, we'll talk more about that in a second. But before we go into that, you know, keep in mind the population here is about 32,000 people. So it's not huge compared to places like Oceanside. They got 150,000 people living there. So this is a lot smaller. You have Cathedral Catholic, which is going to be right here. And most, which is a private high school. One of the best high schools probably in San Diego. Definitely by far for a private school. It's going to have a lot of good athletics there. And you have your choices, whether you want public or private you're going to have that option, which is great. And also I want to show you this because most homes here in Carmel Valley were built in about 2000 and newer. So it is a master plan community. And right outside of it, you have a place called Pacific Highlands Ranch right here. Pacific Highlands Ranch is they're claiming it. It's their own place now. It's a San Diego zip code. But if you're searching homes in Carmel Valley, Pacific Highlands Ranch is going to populate in your search. So it's still considered Carmel Valley, but you have some newer homes over there, newer than most of Carmel Valley. So you're you're going to be 2010 and newer for the most part over there. But it's nice because you have one more shopping center over here. If you want Trader Joe's, this is where you're going to be coming for Trader Joe's. You have some restaurants, you have F45. It's just another big shopping center. So great place. And one last thing I don't want to forget right here is the skate park and the community park right over here is really, really fun. You have like a pump track if you want to take your bike or take your kids there on their skateboard. It will uh, skate park and things like that. And then Canyon Crest Academy. What do you know? Another really good school. But enough about, you know, some of the things to do and, and all that stuff. I want to show you guys some of the census data. So let's go look at that. All right. So let's dive into some of the census data just to give you guys a better feel for just some of the overall grades here in the schools and all that stuff. So I'm on niche.com right now. This is probably my favorite place to look at some of these stats because I find it to be the most accurate. So Carmel Valley, it's rated number five in best neighborhoods to live in San Diego. And it has an overall rating of A+, which is, you know, it's not rare to find here in San Diego, but it's definitely, you know, one of the few with an A+. So you can see the schools, A+, families, A+. Nightlife gets a B, which I can, I could see that. I mean, you do have some nightlife here. You have places like Skydeck, you have Del Mar Highlands one paseo, but it, the vibe here, as far as like going out to restaurants, it's more upscale. So there's no dive bars. You know, you're gonna have to go closer to the coast if you wanna find some dive bars, but that's the beauty of it. So if you're a young professional, you will have some options here, but most of them are gonna be in other cities. So B is good for the nightlife population, about 32,000. Median home value on here, it's a lot lower than that. I believe it's about 1.4. So I'll show you, show you guys that in a second. Rent versus own, about 30% renters and about 70% owners, which is great to see, especially if you're gonna buy in a certain suburb. So good numbers to see. Number four for best neighborhoods to raise a family in San Diego. Number five to live. Number 32 for young professionals, which we just spoke about. So that makes sense. Crime and safety gets about a B. I already told you guys there's always people out walking, walking around on pathways and trails. So it feels like a very safe place and not much you know, bad things happen here. Now, I really like to look at the diversity because, 
you know, here the median household income is about 175,000. So that's that's a huge number. That's a high number. On average in San Diego, it's about 90,000. So this is about double and it makes sense when the median home value and you got good schools and all that stuff, more people want to be here so they have to have a higher income. And you can see that, you know, one out of two houses have families. So there's children involved and now schools. Keep this in mind. When you're in Carmel Valley or you're looking at Pacific Highlands Ranch, you're going to be in the San Diego Unified School District. So it's hands down the number one school district, public school district in all of San Diego. So you really can't go wrong. You have a ton of great schools here and they're all really close by. So you have private school options too, which is great. So that's going to wrap it up for, you know, some of the census data and the schools. Now let's talk about some of the real estate. Okay, so here is some realistic expectations on, you know, what you can expect here in the housing and the real estate market here in Carmel Valley. And right now it is the end of December, 2022. So median sale price right now is just shy of 1.4 million. And, you know, just in November of this year, about 74 homes have sold. So that's about half the amount of last year. You know, that's huge. And that's just because our market's trying to figure itself out. And there's not a, there's not a lot of inventory here at all, especially in Carmel Valley. I'll share those numbers with you guys in a second. And the median days on market is about 37 days. And that's up about 27 days year over year. So this time last year, we were in a completely bonkers market. Things were selling in less than a week. So things are stabilizing and going back to a very sustainable and normal market. So as a real estate professional, I love to see that. There's a plenty of opportunity for buyers and sellers still to this day. So that's great. But let me show you kind of what you can expect because right now, 38 homes for sale in all of Carmel Valley. That's nothing. And that's between townhomes, condos, and single family homes. Now, every community within Carmel Valley is going to have an HOA. It, it's a master plan community and the values, it's great for values because values seem to always keep going up because there's no, there's really no eyesores in your neighborhood. Your neighbor's house is gonna be just as nice as your house for the most part. That's what HOAs do. So even if you have a single family home, you're probably gonna have an HOA somewhere in the probably 100 to 150, maybe 200, depending on what the community amenities are. Now, let's go around because you know the median home value is about 1.4 million, but you can find smaller condos for about $700,000 in here, and you can find some really nice townhomes for about a million, 1.2, and then once you get to about 1.4, 1.5, that's when you'll start to see single family homes. So that's just being real realistic, and you can see here condo for 1 million, uh, single family home for 1.5, another single family for 1.7. And you can see the size, 2,400 square feet, 2,100 square feet. You have a $3.5 million home. Some of these homes are absolutely gorgeous too. They have really nice backyards, pools, um, kind of that outdoor living as well. Two, two million right here, 1.248. That's like a town home as well, 1.8. So you guys can kind of get a feel for the prices here. They're going to be newer construction, you know, 2,000 and newer here. The houses are gonna come in all shapes and different sizes. So you can find homes here up to about four, five million dollar homes. So no matter what price range you're looking in, whether it be Carmel Valley or Del Mar or Oceanside, feel free to reach out to myself and my team. We'd love to help make it as smooth as possible and just really help get you in the right neighborhood and take a lot of stress off your shoulders, especially if you're moving from you know another part of the country or another part of the state. I mean, that's what we're here for is to really just help you navigate. So feel free to reach out at any time. Our info's in the description below and I will see you guys next time.